Well, naturally, I'm very pleased uh, that an important security operation to protect the whole community should have been carried out so successfully and with such minimum civilian casualties. Have you gained anything more than a short breathing space? Yes, I believe I have gained the position that the security forces are in firm control throughout the whole of Northern Ireland, that they are able to move freely throughout the whole area, that all barricades, whether erected by Protestants or Roman Catholics, will be down. And that is essential if we are to ensure that this community is protected from those terrorists who are determined to wreck it. But how long will you be able to enjoy that military domination? I mean, after all, the troops can't remain forever, can they? It is important, uh, first of all, to dominate the areas, then to ensure that the security forces as a whole can operate throughout them. That is the purpose we have in mind. How long they will be there will entirely depend on the security situation. Of course, the IRA had plenty of warning thanks to the announcement last night. Was this really a wise move, do you think? Well, I would have thought that I had an absolutely overriding duty, and that was to the whole of the civilian population, to give them every opportunity to avoid civilian casualties. That was more important to me than anything else. And I gave that warning and asked people to keep off the streets where there might be activity. I believe, indeed, they heeded that warning. And as a result, we had these very small civilian casualties. I think this was desperately important. 